Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to run multiple tests using Python unit test and Selenium Python web driver bindings. In previous video tutorial, I explained how to run a single test using Python unit test framework with Selenium Python web driver. In real world, when you, you test web applications, you need to write multiple tests in a single test execution. This requires that you need to write multiple tests in a test framework and execute them sequentially or in parallel. On this example, you will learn how to write two tests under Python unit test framework and execute the test is with command line or using Python shell script. Now let's see the test case. I use the Mahara ePortfolio website as an example. So first we log in and log out. In most cases all website starts with login and ends with logout. So I type in student1 in the username field and testing1 in the password field, click on login. Then the logout link is displayed. So on the user settings, when I click on the settings, I can change few config parameters. For example, maximum tags in cloud is set to uh, 30. By default, it was 20. So now I set it back to 20. And then click on save. Now this one was saved. Now let's change the default license. Creative Commons attribute 30. Now I pick non selected and save it. So I have already changed it two parameters. One is the default license. One is the maximum tags in cloud. Then I click on the logout button. So in this example, I create two test cases. One is change maximum tags in cloud to 30 and second was change default license to creative commons attribute 3.0 so in this script we have two test methods so let me explain the test structure so on the top, you need to import all the classes or libraries needed for this test. So import unit test used for importing Python unit test module. From Selenium import web driver, from Selenium module, we import web driver class or library. And from selenium.webdriver.common.case, we import case. 
from selenium.webdriver.support.select we import select because we need to select one item from the drop down list for the default license testing and selenium.webdriver.comment.py import by this is used for expected condition wage statement and we also import selenium dot web driver dot support dot ui import web driver weight we import the web driver weight library and from this support we import expected conditions as ec ec is the abbreviation of expected conditions so in this example the test structure looks like this before test started we define a chrome browser and we maximize browser window that means we launch a browser and maximize the browser window so this is class method and this annotation should be here so the script will execute the setup class before the test and at the end of this script we have another class method it's teardown class this will close the browser and quit the driver so in test structure we have setup class setup test teardown and teardown class setup class runs before all tests and it executes only once so we should use class method annotation and teardown class it executes only once it will run when all tests are completed test setup and test teardown will run for each test that means in the setup i defined login and in the teardown i defined logout so before each test starts the user needs to be logged in and once the test is completed the user needs to be logged out so for the setup method driver equal to self dot driver the chrome driver instance and we navigate to driver dot get mahara demo website and this is username username equal to driver dot find element by id so we define username field for this line username dot send the case student one we type in student one we define password field driver dot find element by id login underscore login underscore password password dot send case testing one and we defined a button for the login login button equals driver dot find element by id and login submit and login button click so this setup will enable a user to log in the site as a student so tear down driver equal to self dot driver and we define a logout logout equal to driver dot find element by link text logout and logout click so the setup will run once for every test and teardown will run once for every test 
So in this example, we have two tests. That means setup will run twice and teardown will run twice. Please remember that in the teardown, we only log out. We never close the window. The window will be closed after all tests are completed. Now let's look at the uh, first test. Test change maximum tags in cloud. And remember that the test method should be starting with the word test. So we define driver equals to self.driver and we need to click on the settings link on the site. Settings equal to driver dot find element by link text settings and settings dot click. We click on the settings link and we implicitly wait for uh, 15 seconds. Let's change it to 5 seconds. We define element max text equal to driver find element by x pass. This is the x pass for the max tags field. And we need to clear the content because by default it has the number 20. We need to clear the number and we send case 30. Now we wait another few seconds. Let's change it to 5 seconds. And save button equals to driver.find element by ID. This is the ID for the save button. We click on the save button and we give it 15 seconds uh, for the wait. Uh, that means the system will check 15 within 15 seconds for the element and max text. So once we set to 30, we get the value attribute of the element. So this will be find element by x pass. And this is the element for the max text and get attribute. Uh, because the max text field has the attribute value and it contains uh, the number we entered. We print out the max text and we do assertion self dot assert true max text should be 30 because we typed in 30 in the script. So this is the first test. Now second test and it's similar. We define a driver equal to self driver and for the settings equal to driver dot find element by link text settings. We click on settings link and we define a wait statement, wait until web driver wait. And timeout 30 seconds. So we need to wait until the system finds the select drop down list for the license. So license select equals to wait until expected condition presence of all element located. So this element should be located. And we define a select equal to select. We select the license element driver dot find element by xpass. This is the xpass definition of the select. And we wait five seconds. So now from this drop down list, we select by visible text creative comments attribute 3.0 and driver dot implicitly wait five seconds. Now we define the save button equals to driver dot find element by ID and we click on save. Once we click on save, we need to assert that the drop down list should 
have the item Creative Commons attribute is selected. So for this, I defined the element div under span select. This is a select dropdown list and it has option. This option has an attribute name it selected, should be selected. And its text should be Creative Commons attribution 3.0. Now this is the assertion. So we have two tests defined and now let's execute the test. So we can run the test by using the command line. I saved this script as Selenium Python test framework. So I save it under C Python 2.7 folder. Now let's observe the result. I hit enter. Browser launched. Now browser is maximized. And logging in. So first test is done. Now logging in again. And second test is done. So if you see the result, ran two tests in 19 seconds and test result is okay. So as explained in this video tutorial, you have many test cases in your test plan. So you can use the unit tests with Selenium Python binders and run them as a single test by using login and logout. In web testing best practice, it is good idea to separate tests. So a test result from one test should not affect the next test. So that means in this script, for each test, we defined login and logout. So user logs in, change one settings, then logs out, user logs in again, and change another settings and logs out. With this approach, it doesn't matter the order of tests. As long as the tests are independent each other, the test will run in random orders. So for written examples, please check www.seleniummaster.com website. And also, if you have any questions, you can email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.